The Nightcore Tip SE LED Keychain Flashlight. If you need a keychain flashlight, Nightcore has a veritable cornucopia of options. They have the tip, tup, tiki, teeny, tube, and thumb, but today we're gonna look at the Tip SE, which is an improved, updated version of their previous tip light, as this one now has two Osram P8 LEDs, puts out a maximum of 700 lumens for a super lightweight 0.9 ounces and a very reasonably priced 29.95, so links down below. Check those out. Looking at this light, you can see just how small this thing is in your hand. And if you're going to attach it to your keychain, you can see again just how small it is compared to your keys. I'm not really personally a keychain attaching light person myself because my keys I tend to keep pretty minimalist. I just have two keys on them. So I'm not one to have a big dangly keychain, but if you are, you can see just how small this thing is. So let's have a look at this before we get into the light itself. Looking around the box, it talks about some stuff about the light as boxes do, that's what they're there for. 700 lumens, talks about a throw output of 90 meters, meaningful distance is always shorter. Impact resistance of one meter and IP54 rated, so it is kind of splash resistant. And then on the back, it talks about some other stuff, but we don't really need to talk about that right here on the box because I'm gonna talk about it for you. Aside from the light, some other stuff that comes with this light, let's just have a look. There is, of course, the instruction pamphlet in a couple languages. However, if you have the TLDR brain and you don't have time to read all this, they also include a quick start guide for those quick minded ones. And really the user interface on this is pretty straightforward. So, you know, you kind of get a quick glance at this, you get an idea and then you can get rid of it and you'll know from there on forward how this goes. Also a little warranty card, you can fill that out. And then there is a pocket clip, which I'll show you in a minute. And it also comes with several rings for attaching it to your keychain from small to a little bit meatier to a little bit bigger with this quick disconnect. So several options if you want to attach it to your keychain and you attach it right there on the back, just attach one of these right there and then stick it on your keychain. This light is made of aluminum and weighs in at 0.9 ounces and in your hand, it feels very nice. It's a good, comfortable feel to it. Inside of there is a rechargeable 500 milliamp hour battery and it will power this light on low mode up to 50 hours on that turbo for about 15 minutes. So let's get a little closer look at the light. Looking around it, you can see there are two buttons here, the power button and a mode button. I'll show you those in a little bit. There are these indentations here and those indentations are for the pocket clip. And you can mount it on here and it slides forward and it locks into one of those little indentations. And as you can see, you can carry this in either direction whichever side you want to mount the pocket clip on. And it slides on there. I think it goes easier from the other side. Slides on. When it's on, over on this side here, there is the USB-C charging port. It does not come with a cable, but for $5, they'll sell you a cable. Or if you're like me, you have about 100 USB cables. This is a USB Type-C, and it will charge this light in about an hour and a half, they say. But when the pocket clip is on here, it protects that charging port locks right into that spot there, and the charging port is then protected from anything getting into it. Water could still get into it, but you know, dirt and stuff probably won't get in there. Alternatively, with this clip, you could actually mount it on the other side. You could slide it on here, and it will effectively work to lock the light out. Maybe you're gonna keep this in your bag, you're gonna keep it somewhere where you don't want it to turn on accidentally. You can see here, it covers the buttons, and it is not accidentally going to turn on, so it kind of locks the light out. As long as you don't need quick access to it, you can otherwise just take the clip off and then you know, then you have access to the buttons, flip it around, whatever you're gonna do with it. But another option for that pocket clip. When I first got the light and I was looking at that clip, I thought there is not much space under there, but actually as long as your pants are not that thick, you can actually carry this in your pants. And as small and thin as this is, it just disappears in your pocket. Just be sure to take it out of your pocket at the end of the night because you don't wanna run this through the washing machine because it only has that IP54 rating. So make sure you take it out. You do need to be careful though because it's not exactly a deep riding pocket clip. So there is some chance the light may fall out of your pocket. Also, aside from carrying in your pocket, you could mount this on the brim of a hat and use this for some very light hiking or just really for some fixing stuff around the house. If you're gonna go hiking, you're not gonna take a light of this size and this kind of run time but for simple tasks, maybe in a blackout, you want to stick this on your hat and go fix some stuff or get into the fuse box, this will work just fine. On the front are those two Osram P8 LEDs and they have TIR, total internal reflection lenses. 
and they say they will throw that 700 lumens 90 meters. Again, meaningful distance is always a lot shorter, depends on atmospheric conditions, but 700 lumens out of a light this size is really pretty darn good. When the light is charging, there's an LED indicator that lights up red as it's charging, and then when it's fully charged, that changes to green. After that, if you're trying to figure out as you're using the light, just how charged the light is, this is also an indicator that shows you, and the way you do it is you press the mode button here, and it will flash. Three flashes there means it's greater than 50% charged. Two flashes is 10 to 50%. And if it flashes just one time, that means it's charged less than 10%. This light has both a demo mode and a regular mode. When you get it and it's in the box and you're in the store and there's this little thing that here that says, try me, and you push on and you turn the light on, it's probably going to be in the demo mode. And that demo mode turns off after 30 seconds. That way you don't kill the battery in the box. The way you get between the two modes is you hold both of these buttons down together. Two flashes means it is in demo mode. One flash means it's in regular flashlight mode. So just make sure you take it out of the demo mode when you get it out of the box, if it is in that. This light has four outputs from a Firefly one lumen to a turbo 700 lumens, and you can have instant access to both of those. There are the two buttons, power button and mode button. To get to that Firefly, you just long press the power button and it comes on to that one lumen Firefly, which it will do for 50 hours. And a kind of a broken record talking about this in my videos, but one lumen don't scoff at. When your eyes are adjusted at night, one lumen is sometimes almost too bright. So that is a super useful, you maybe you're in a hotel and you need to get up and go to the bathroom. That one lumen sometimes is too bright. So one lumen, super useful, 50 hours. If you want instant access to the turbo, you hold down that mode button briefly and it will come under that turbo and you can leave it on there. And then you can turn it back off. If you hold the mode button down for longer than two seconds, that turbo becomes momentary and it will then turn back off. Alternatively, to use the light in regular mode, you click it on with the power button and then that mode button will circle through the lower three modes, one lumen, 30 lumens, and 180 lumens. It will do that for 50 hours, eight hours, and one hour and 30 minutes. And then from any of these modes, if you want to get to the turbo, you just hold down that mode button and it will ramp up to that 700 again in a momentary fashion. It also has mode memory, so if you turn it off on that high, it will come back on on high. If you turn it off on the Firefly, it will come back on on Firefly. Overall thoughts on this light, as I mentioned before, I'm not really one to put a light on my keychain because I'm kind of minimalist with it, but if you do, it's going to add pretty minimal size and weight at less than an ounce. Alternatively, if you want to just carry this in your pocket or in your bag or even in your glove compartment, small and lightweight, and for a general everyday carry light, putting out that 700 lumens is pretty darn bright for a light of this size, this weight, and this price. For a more useful everyday carry light, 30 lumens or 180 lumens is going to be plenty bright for almost, you know, most of the stuff you're going to need for around the house, for some light walking around. Plenty bright for simple stuff. So overall, I think it's a fantastic value. Check out the Tip SE and all the other Nightcore keychain lights. They have different colors, different sizes, different brightnesses. Some of them are like $10. So you can get them pretty darn cheap if you are looking for a lower price point light. But otherwise, check this one out. Links down below, Nightcore Tip SE. Mm -hmm.